So far in my journey of exploring the capabilities of AI, I've just used it to create some fun images. But the new AI tool in Kittle gives an exciting insight into how AI can be incorporated into design software and used in real creative projects. If you haven't seen my other videos on Kittle, it's an online design tool that combines ready to use templates with advanced editing tools, some of which are more powerful than Adobe's. As well as the new AI feature, Kittle now has a built-in mock-up library too, so stick around to see it in action later in the video. If you're watching this within the first week of its upload, you can get 100 free AI credits if you join Kittle using my personal link in the description. If you then fancy upgrading from the free plan, you can use the code SPOONGRAPHICS to secure $15 off. So let's create a quick project to test out Kittle's new features. Over in the left is where you find the different tools libraries. Alongside thousands of vector assets, fonts and templates, you can also find stock photos directly from Unsplash. So you can easily find and add a picture of some mountains for instance, without having to download and open the file separately. Kittle is pioneering this kind of integration with their AI feature too. Rather than have to search for existing ready-made assets from stock resources websites, you can just generate exactly what you want directly in your project. Similar to other AI tools, you type in your text prompt and after a few seconds you get an automatically generated image. The difference is Kittle is you have a range of image styles to choose from, which can really help to narrow down your prompt to a specific aesthetic. For this simple mountain landscape prompt, digital painting would be a good fit, but some of the other artistic effects could produce interesting results. You can make some basic adjustments using the brightness, contrast and saturation sliders to tweak the image. Let's find a simple square shape from the elements library to fill the canvas area, then give it a pale yellow fill. Right click and choose to bike, then we can click the landscape image and change its blending mode to allow the colours to interact with the new background, giving it some interesting colour grading. Since we've got this nice landscape, let's find some kind of ready-made lettering from the Kittle library to turn it into a nice bit of quote art. Right click the browser tab and choose duplicate to open another Kittle window while saving this project. Head back to the Kittle homepage to browse the collection of thousands of ready-made templates from the community. All of these designs can be edited or deconstructed to use as a base for your own artwork. This quote is nice, so let's click use this design to open the project. Hold shift and select all the text and copy with command and C or control and C on windows. Switch back to the main tab and paste them in with command and V or control and V on windows. Scale and position the text centrally. The colours can be edited by using the eyedropper to find new hues from the background image. Or do the elements library find a suitable corner graphic in a similar style to these ornate swooshes? By duplicating and flipping the graphics, you can easily add a few extra decorative touches. Let's take a look at another way Kittle's new AI feature could be used. This time we'll create a t-shirt graphic. The poster small artboard preset is roughly the right proportions. Give the background a colourful fill, then use the AI tool to generate a cute burger character. The kawaii preset is the perfect style option to choose. Every generation is different, so you can use up a few credits to find just the right result. Because we added the blue background, you can see the AI image is isolated on white, but Kittle has a handy AI background remover that cuts it out in seconds. Use the text tool to add some wording to build a simple design. In the font library, you can even narrow down the style to sans serif. Where the background remover has accidentally removed some of the white bits of the character illustration, they can be patched up by placing a simple white shape underneath. As a finishing touch, find a texture from the Kittle texture library. Change the opacity option to alpha mask to easily clip the texture from the artwork. Since this design has been created as a t-shirt, clear out the artboard background colour. Then this is the perfect opportunity to test out Kittle's new mock-up library. Click the mock-up button to immediately see how this design would look on a t-shirt. We can even change the t-shirt colour to match the blue we originally used in the design. Browse through the collection of mock-ups to find model images too. This one is cool because it's already masked around the jacket. You can also see how the artwork contours around the fabric creases. 
It's amazing that all this is achievable directly in Kittle, without having to download additional assets from elsewhere. The new AI feature in particular is an exciting insight into how this new technology could be incorporated into your creative workflow to work faster and more efficiently. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learned any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.